All right, guys, this is the 20th hired request of the fall 2016 list. Justin Curry, The Darkness of the Day. And let's hear some of it. Sean Cheek and welcome to my easy piano lessons. We're about to do the free part one, uh, but the rest of the lessons for this, as well as thousands of other lessons that I've done, are on my website, webpianoteacher.com. Check me out on Facebook, just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com. See what I'm up to, what new lessons I'm uploading. I even have things for complete beginners. If you don't know anything, on my website, if you click browse lessons and scroll down alphabetically to L, lesson there are 50 lessons there to get you started and uh, just get you playing chords get your hands playing together so you can play stuff like this and play your uh, your favorite music so we are in D flat so sorry about that but that's the key that we're in here for this uh, don't be afraid of flats I actually prefer playing in flats uh, or in, in sharps because they kind of guide your fingers. If you're all, only on white keys, they all feel the same and you just can't, uh, sometimes you can lose where you are, but the black keys guide your fingers, you feel where you are better, I think. So anyway, we start with a D flat chord. I'm gonna play that first measure again. So we have F, A flat, D flat on the right. One, two, three, we are in six, eight. So that means there's six little counts per measure and two big counts. One, two, three, four, five, six. So see, I counted to six, but I clapped two times for each big beat. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's called a compound time signature. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So get that kind of lilt uh, going there with your rhythm. F, A flat, D flat on the right. Left hand, I'll have a D flat octave. One, two, three. Four, five, or I'm sorry, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna move up a little bit and play the same chord. This is a D flat chord as well, just in an inversion. A flat, D flat, F. And I'm gonna arpeggiate it upwards. That's why I have a little arrow up there. Count four, four, five, six will be E flat, D flat. So one, two, three, four, five, six. When I do that, my left hand will just play that top D flat with my thumb again. One, two, three, four, five, six. But on count six, I'll play F down here on the left. Because that F leads me into bong, bong, like that. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Now this count one is G flat, B flat, D flat. It's all by keys. It's a G flat major chord. Left hand on G flat and D flat. One, two. So one, two, count three will be that D flat. I'm already playing it, just play it again. Three, count four, five, six will be G flat, B flat, D flat. And guess what, I'm already playing those two. My fingers are already there. And then the left hand will have an A flat. Why an A flat? Because it's leading us into the D flat of the next measure. Boom, boom. So I'll play that A flat with a two. Put a two on it so that you can prepare to be able to reach the D flat octave in the next measure. So from the beginning, one, two, three, four, five, six. Next measure, which will sound like this. We go to F minor, but F A flat D flat, like we started. Now we move up, like we did here as well. We play the chord a little bit differently. We play the A flat and the F first with one and five. Then we say that middle finger or the second finger for D flat. So we play one, two, three, four, five, six. Here that left hand one two three four so count three was here count four we do the d flat one two three four five six so the left hand will have count six there with f see how the the uh, left and right hand are kind of take uh, trading places one two three four five six while the left hand's holding something the right hand's playing while the right hand's holding something the left hand's playing so there's something always going uh, and then we get to a new 
measure there really I should have put a bar line there but G flat B flat D flat left hand on the G flat D flat one two three count three I'll play that D flat with my two finger so that I can reach the G flat octave that's coming up one four five six when I do that the right hand will move up and play D flat G flat B flat which is still a G flat chord this was a G flat chord and so is this even though I'm up higher four five six count six will be that G flat octave again in the left hand. So, starting here, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Then we go to F minor, which is cool. Uh, we finish it, of course, the whole thing on the website in several lessons, but this is just a little beginning for you to get started. Let's start from the beginning and go. One, two, So there's the intro for you. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll talk to you later.